everyone, and welcome to a long overdue episode of Jurassic World Alive. How do I know it's long overdue? Uh, because everybody won't stop banging on about it. I think every time I've done a live stream, I've seen comments like, Jurassic World Live, Beavis? Where is it? What about Jurassic World the game, huh? What about that one? You don't care about that one? Okay, okay cool. <laughs> so, we are back in Jurassic World Alive, and I've done, I've done it. Because in the last video, I didn't talk about it, because we were kind of talking about something else. But we now have Rexy level 30. I achieved this, and I've got the date right here, on the 20th of July. And apparently the first time that I actually paid for a Rexy incubator was on the 28th of May. So it took like two months, almost a month and a bit uh, in order to, you know, kind of max this thing out. I went into my bank statements <laughs> and I found the boring stuff I know. And I found out exactly how many incubators or at least how many times I've uh, made microtransactions in Jurassic World Alive in order to get Rexy to level. Uh, well, I maxed it on the 20th of May. So on the 20th of May, all those transactions were basically for Rexy. Even if it was like buying another incubator in order to get the books to then buy the uh, the legendary incubator, which had a chance of having Rexy. So I'm counting that towards it as well because those could have well have been uh, Rexy DNA. However, a lot of the times I didn't get those. So, I, uh, oh my god, I need the thumbnail. Oh. <laughs> Just get into it, I suppose. So, yeah, there was apparently like three different types of payments that I made. There was the $21.99, which I think was for like uh, maybe the incubator itself or the, the incense uh, in order to dart Rexy. Uh, there was also a $44.99. This is all in pounds, by the way. Uh, and there was, of course, the classic, uh, the legendary uh, $89.99 incubator. So, for the $21.99, uh, I bought four of those. So you might be thinking, oh, well, that's not so bad, is it? I mean, it's £80, it's still pretty bad. Um, and then I, I, I bought from the $44.99, 18 of them. 18. And that's not even the worst. The worst. The worst offender. I bought 23 89 incubators. Are you ready for the grand reveal? How much did it cost me to get Rexy from, you know, unlocking it right the way to maxing it up? How much did it cost? Well, I can tell you, it cost me £2,890.57. I don't even know what that is in dollary dues. That's probably like four, three to four thousand dollars. Why are we still here? just to suffer. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. That is crazy. Ludicrous. Now, apparently this kind of stuff isn't new for a lot of mobile game players. Uh, I've been speaking to, because I'm in Japan, there's a lot of Genshin Impact. And for those guys, if they want to unlock a new character or guarantee unlocking a new character, they need to at least throw down a couple of hundred for just one character. So actually, Rex is really bad <laughs> to get it to max level. Oh my god, I can't even believe this apps. It's ludicrous. But it also makes the part two of this video, which will inevitably come, uh, more interesting. And we'll see if they even dare do it. Because now I've spent, you know, basically 3,000. The computer I'm working on is about that much. And that can do everything. Oh. And then this game, just like Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park Builder, will eventually stop being supported. And its servers will be shut down probably years from now. But then all that money I've put into it will be gone. My computer, however, will still be working. I mean, it's all about how you really spend your money. Correct! But that is ludicrous. Oh my god! But, and and the, the, the real question is, is Rexy any good? No! Actually, Rexy on 1v1 doesn't really beat a lot of dinosaurs, which is interesting. Um, a lot of them have like a, a way to counter it, especially in like PvP where switching in, switching out. Even against a Mortem Rex, arguably Rexy's not really that great. 
<laughs> but anyway, that, that is that done and dusted. I, we do not need to dwell on this anymore because, my God, I don't want to. <laughs> <sighs> well, anyway, we are entering a new season in Jurassic World Alive. Oh, thank you. Yes, Wicked's got me. Hell yeah. You the boy. Yes. <laughs> so we have this season. This is the new hybrid now, just like Rexy. There's a chance that, you know, you could spend all the money and then it just gets nerfed or something. Uh, so this is the beta hybrid. Now, I have not paid for premium and I'm missing out on a lot. If I do not pay for premium, I'm missing out on like 200, like the compy DNA or whatever it is. Uh, so obviously we're, we're going to have to do premium. It's quite funny, actually. Well, it's not funny. But in Jurassic World, the game, they're, they're giving me the season pass for free. It's just like in the mailbox. However, this game, Jurassic World Life, same company, are not giving me it. I've, I've spent, I don't even want to, in total, I could probably find how much I've spent on this game. But just with one dinosaur, I spent three grand and still no special treatment, which I guess, you know, it, it, it's, it's mind boggling to, to think the amount of money that like higher players are spending on the game. And this is how Jurassic World Alive works because yes, maybe like 5%, 10% of the whole player base actually buys these 89.99 incubators. But as long as 10% buys it, they make way more money than if they lowered the price of the incubators. So as long as people... <laughs> I mean, I did it just because I wanted to prove a point how much you'd have to spend and then if it gets nerfed, you know, all that jazz. But it just proves that as long as people are buying these incubators, then they're not going to change their ways. It's not the way it's going to go. And they're still going to, you know, do this, which is not only do you have incubators, every day it refreshes to something different, but also season passes in it and you need a 35 pound on a season pass. Oh my God. Okay, let's buy it then. It's all business expenses. Fine. Yes, we're all set to go. <laughs> so I'm wondering how I'm going to like go through the rankings. I always find like this seems to go super quick, but we do get some cute beta emotes. I will admit it's, it's in, oh, I forgot. I've got all the coin in the world. <laughs> 600 beta DNA. I do not need any more of this thing. The Tarbogonathus. I've got so much of it. I'm glad I didn't level up to level 30. Although to be fair, I have seen some teams have it maxed up as well as the Comsoraptor, which I, um, could be interesting at uh, 244 of that, which I think has already been added. And now we are on rank 20. Oh, hold on. Wait, did that not get, did, did it add more? Oh, it did add more. So we've still got a couple left to get, which is it, which is good. I, I don't mind that because now we've got the trespass skin and also the traitor skin. Uh, so now how about we just collect all of these goddamn rewards? Mm, yes, Microraptor, which is interesting. The Tarbo, which I don't really need, but we're definitely going to unlock this guy. Now, I've heard from the grapevine that this hybrid, the Compsoraptor Beta, whatever it's called, is actually pretty decent. Even at level like 20, 22, people are putting boosts on it and it's being used. So I'm quite looking forward to seeing just how it works because I know that it has like the, the, does it have the triple hit or is it just the double hit? It, it's one of those two. So this is it. Once we collect this, we have it unlocked. Yeah. And I'm wondering how long it'll take till, you know, the tournament, we get the tournament, the inevitable tournament to unlock it. So it will be very good. Do not need Tarbosaur. Uh, yeah, the, the thing is, right, there's so many, oh, I've already got that. Oh, sweet. Okay. Uh, oh wait, hold on. We broke the game. Apparently I've clicked too many things and it's broken. We're gonna have to close it. You know, may as well dart a Spinosaurus while we're at it, because that apparently was just here. Uh, and I, I, I do want to go into how I think, you know, the real world or, you know, this kind of system, because Jurassic World Alive is split into two, two, two completely different games. One is this, where you dart and level up your creature, and the other one is putting boosts on your dinosaurs and also battling them. And I feel like that is the more fleshed out part of the game. And this one where you dart, you walk around, you maybe discover more dinosaurs. This thing is so bare and barren, especially now that I'm playing Pokemon Go and I can just see how bare and barren it is in comparison. Um, like, 
you know, I, I log in and I don't have any, I mean, yes, I can dart dinosaurs that are really far away, but there's nothing near me. Nothing at all. It's horrendous. Anyway, let's go back and start opening these guys if it'll let me. Oh, yes, it will. Very good. So we should be able to level up beta. I think you need it to level 20 uh, in order to um, start fusing it for the compi. Uh, Microraptor as well is something that I thought was in the game for the longest time, but apparently it's not. Oh, there you go. Look at that Notrosoraptor for the freebie. Very good. Now, I don't know what this is. It's a raptor scent. Now, I want to check because I haven't had one of these. I did have a look and I was like, ooh, maybe I've already got one of those, but apparently I didn't. Um, so, hopefully, if we have a look in here. Uh, raptor scent. Here it is. So, does it? what does it give us? Ah, it doesn't even give a guaranteed beta. Okay, I think I'm just used to the, the whatchamacallit, the giga scent, where it's like, oh yeah, well, you have a chance of getting a giga, or 100% chance of getting a giga. Yes, and now you can really see the, the perks of, you know, buying the uh, the premium pass. 150 beta DNA as opposed to 166 compi gen too. And then the next one gives you 500. And then only a third for the free one of the beta that you just got. And then you got 50 across the rapid. No, 150. You get three times basically. Uh, even four times with that tarbo. What's the title? Kicking butt? <gasps> that should be censored. This is a kid's game. <laughs> So another Tarbo. Yeah, I, I mean, I do not need any more of that. Really, I just need Beta in order to make this hybrid. Uh, but Beta is one of those dinosaurs that I think has only ever been collectible in a paid-for incubator. And then, of course, the uh, the poor sods. Unfortunately, not like myself. I wish I could call myself a poor sod. A poor sod in other regards with the Rexy, um, who bought the um, incubator and got Beta, ended up, you know, putting it in sanctuaries that bless their souls. And now everybody else has beta now in the game. And I think even now we've got like a level 11 beta sanctuary that's all betas. And I know you get level 20, maybe you can get nine instead of six. Woo, which I guess adds up, I suppose. Uh, but I think most uh, clans need that, especially for this thing. Um, what was interesting when I was playtesting the, the beta build for this, I wasn't too sold on the, you know, the beta hybrid and it was more a case of the therizinosaurus because that was so quick and not only was it really quick but it also um oh what did it do it also had like a triple attack which seems so crazy and it was super quick as well that was a legendary and i could almost see that can we get it I was going to say, I'm allowed to collect it. Oh, so I probably didn't collect the other one then, did I? I think I was just clicking on it. No, apparently I got it. So, well, that's good. That's nice. So here we go. The final four. Tarbo, some more beta. We'll see how far we can get it. I think we'll probably get like 16. 16 in a push, maybe 17. And then if we really wanted to, we could just then go for two, you know, for 500, 1,000, maybe 5,000 bucks in order to get, you know, another 200 for the compi. But at the moment, I'm kind of happy in the place that my team's at. Also, it's interesting to see where the meta's at, um, because a lot of people have said that it's the most broken it's ever been, which I guess you could sort of say is true. <laughs> it's, it's, it, I mean, I'll have to have a look. Um, I very rarely, when I'm in New Blah Shores, uh, see anything different. It's it, everyone has the bear, the ankylos looks, the um, and you know if I'm against a really hard opponent, they have the Alberta hybrid thing, um, which is well, I was hoping to dart a lot more of them today, but I've only darted six of them. But I've still got another day. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get there eventually. We'll just open up this. Don't know why. You know what? At this point, I've got so many coins that I should just level up something useless to level thirty. Maybe a para, since my favorite dinosaur. Maybe level up a power. Because I don't think that's going to get a hybrid. But anyway, here we go. The compy thing. Um, and we'll also try and level up uh, beta to see if we can get level 20 in order to get it. Uh, ooh, we should be able to get this to level 22 even, actually. Um, ooh, another 200. Ooh, ooh, 30% crit chance. Yes, if we did get those other 200, we get it to level 23. But, you know, we'll level up a little bit more. I'm assuming that this should be the best sort of hybrid, right? Like, flock hybrid. It should be, in theory. I mean, what more do you want? <laughs> like, that's perfect. Oh, my God. Ridiculous. So, we'll see how far we can get beta now uh, before we start doing some more battles. So, we do need level 20. But chances of getting at that? Oh, I think maybe we'll get it to 19, actually, in a push. 
So we're almost at the point where we can start fusing it to get more. Mm, yes. But of course, I mean, if, if you see anyone with this thing maxed up at this point in the game, they've 100% spent... I don't even think... Can you even? Even if you spend money, I don't even think you could get it uh, to level 30. But I'm sure somebody's done it. Like, well, I'll have a look to see where you even bump into beta. But I'm sure it's just going to be events. A uh, four-foot baby rabbit, but growing fast. Yeah, events, pretty much. So I, if anybody's got it, I, they've either hacked the game or they've spent a million pound on incubators. And with this short period of time, I think it's pretty impossible. Uh, we're like five off. I just did this and I got 20. If I got 25, we would have unlocked it. Um, and this as well, I'm, I'm really in two minds about because it's really cool that it has the gimmick of making an opponent switch out. But also at the same time, or if you make your opponent switch out, they're probably going to switch into something that is going to do damage to you or do something. So, hey. <laughs> uh, it's really good to stop something setting up, but what really sets up in the game? I, you know. But hey-ho. Anyway, let's do some battles and just see how far we can go. Can we get back to Nublar Shores? Mm. Oh, but you know what? I might as well enjoy it while I can because we're in a place where, oh, it looks so good. You can actually see the dinosaurs. Right, okay, so starting off, we've got Imperator Sutures. Um, I mean, I, I bump into Indotaurus a lot these days. So if I'm really against Indotaurus, Imperator Sutures, I guess, to get the bleed, and then he'll pr I'll probably switch out if it is Indotaurus. Oh, Dilakairus, actually, not a bad thing to come in to counter uh, with the Imperator Sutures. I mean, yes, you reduce that and you get a free hit. But at the same time, I get to heal as well. And then I can maybe do a big hit and maybe kill you. It is immune to bleed. Mm, actually, but we do get the speed decrease, which is what we want to do. Uh, so, uh, it's immune to stun and it's immune to bleed, which unfortunately is exactly what this thing does. Uh, so, if we wanted to, we could do that. But you know what? It's probably going to go for its regular heal, predicting me to do this. Um, and then, ooh, we'll see where we're at. Is it going to do it? It didn't? What? <laughs> okay. That's very strange, but all right. Um, now, he's in a bit of a pickle um, because... Oh, no, I couldn't. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll concede here. He's probably just going to go for the heal and do reduce my damage, which is fair enough. I'm fine with that, but at least we've locked him in, which means... Yeah, here it comes. And he'll probably do, like, a, a, a priority heal this turn. He should do. If I was him, I would, because I do not want to be hit with a counter from this. Um, he can switch out as well now. Yeah, he probably switch out. Is it the bear? Is it the bear coming in? Ooh. So we're a little bit on the back foot here. It's not looking the best of situations for us. Oh, it's into Taurus! Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's a perfect counter for Anklos look. So I've got to think on my toes here for that Indotaurus... Not Indotaurus, for that um, that Dilokairus coming in. Hmm. So I think he can kill me in one hit. No, he can't. Oh, very interesting. So he's probably going to go for a cloak. Um, if that is the case, I'll do this. Oh, he didn't go for a cloak. I could have killed him. Well, I'm an idiot. <laughs> but I may be able to set up here. Yeah, I should have... Ooh. Would that have been good, though? This might actually work out in my favor here. For the Imperator Sutius. Depends how quick I am, though. Okay, we've reduced his speed, which is good. Um... What do we do? What do we... Is Giga good here? Is Giga good? Yeah, let's try it, shall we? We may as well. Um, I'm, I'm a bit worried, though. <laughs> Won't lie. Now, is he going to lose his Indotaurus? At this point, Indotaurus does nothing. It can't do anything for him. It dies, even if it goes for a cloak. Um, if I was him, I would just leave it. Like, just let it die. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, Giga is actually not too bad against Dilo. It doesn't have too much of a bad matchup because it can heal. And then it's got its big hit. And it's, you know, it doesn't take too much of a uh, reduction from its damage. Uh, he can go for, like, 5,000. Um, but he does go first, so... Um, ooh, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. I could have went for a big hit here. Could have. Possibly should have, because now he's going to reduce uh, any attack increase that I get here. 
uh, by going for his biggest hit and then getting a freebie. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, yeah, sure, sure. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, so there it is. So now I'm only going to do 4,000 damage to him. Uh, oh, he gets a crit. Oh, that's nasty. What a chance of the 10%. There it is. Okay. Uh, we get the devour. He does get the counter off. Um, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't really have anything really to take this on. Um, I probably could switch just to get, like, a free counter off. Because uh, he's... Oh, he, wait, he goes for the distracting heal? Really? I would have thought he would have just finished me, but... Oh, okay, sure, sure. Oh, no, no, this might... might I don't have anything for Dealer Kairos here at all. <laughs> it is not looking good. Yeah, the fact that he gets that revenge cutting rampage the next turn. Oh, and another... Cr okay, so the game doesn't want me to win now. It, it's created me twice. Nah, it's not looking good. And then he's going to damage reduction me again. But you know what we can do? Giga's weird little gimmick. We can switch in and completely heal ourselves. <laughs> oh, it's pretty... I love it. Like, boom, look at that. There you go. Oh, I gave you 7,000. What's that? You already healed? What a shame. <laughs> So, I mean, you can go for that if you want. Um, and then I can heal myself, which I'm definitely going to do. There's no point in you healing yourself. And you're not getting any... Ooh, what did he go for here? This is interesting. Ooh, ooh, what are you going to do? Is he going to go for his other heal? It has too many heals, this thing. Way too many heals. I'm thinking that they may even reduce this thing here. Because it's just way too OP. And we're going to be in the same boat that we were last time, aren't we? Uh, we, you know what? Sod it. I may as well. Yeah, we're going to be on 2,000. We're going to do 3,000 damage. And he's going to get... <laughs> I mean... I'm trying to think of a switch to the crocodile. It died. Have Giga come in. Uh, there's really nothing I, I could do. Um, I mean, he's just going to heal himself here, isn't he? He's probably got this distracting team heal back all, already. So... Is there any real point here? It, it just shows just kind of how broken Dino Kairos is. Because it just loads of things it has a great matchup against. Oh, okay. We, you know what? Fair dues. Fair dues. Yeah, some damage. <laughs> At this point, I still haven't, like, showed my hand. Um, hmm. Is there any point... Is there any... Let's just go do it again. Because he's going to heal. <laughs> he's 100% just going to go for his distracting heal. Uh, <laughs> you know what? If he's going to win, we'll drag it out. We'll make it annoying for him. There you go. There's your health. There's your health. Do you want to Do you want to attack me? Or are you going to heal yourself? Oh, well. Would you look at that? <laughs> well, he reduces my damage. But we still do a whole crud ton. Um, he's probably just going to heal himself and get a speed boost off at this point. Um, so you know what? Sod it. We're going to predict him doing that. But where? Oh, yes. We're going to get the devour off. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, he gets a counter, which I guess isn't too bad. But we're, of course, we're going to heal a little bit. And of course, he heals. Um, <laughs> it's about just getting the cycle right here. Go on, give me a little bit of help. Now you're faster. Now you're worried, son. Now you're worried. Because, uh, oh, should you be? You prob probably don't need to be. Because you're probably going to heal anyway. Uh, I don't think he has any heal moves now at this point. Maybe I've played my cards right. I'm not quicker. So oh, I am quicker. <gasps> I did it. I broke the cycle. He has to switch out now. Unless he dies. Hey. Oh, yeah. I was doomed from the get-go. <laughs> Oh, that was brilliant. I finally did it. I mean, if I was proper big big brain play, we, we could have done really well there. Um, so, you know, we get even more health here. I, I say more, really just a tiny amount. Um, I feel like I just want the crocodile to switch in. But then if I... I can't really, can I? Because, uh, yeah, we're pretty much lost. Because now next turn he's going to do the rally heal. Go back up to that certain, you know, whatever. Uh, and yeah, so... I was, basically, I was guaranteed to lose, but I, you know what? I did my best. I did my best. 
<laughs> oh, Lord. I, we could just switch in the crocodile at this point, because there's nothing we can do, really. Um, I mean, he's super quick. That's what you do with Tarbogonathus. You just make it super quick. Um, and even then... There's really nothing I can do. He's just going to go for his priority attack twice and... Oh, no, he doesn't. What, what did he go for instead, then? That's interesting. Oh, a fierce impact. And then next turn, he'll go for his priority and then he'll kill me. There we go. Well played. Well played. <laughs> yeah, pretty much he had the Dilokairis to counter most of my team. He had the Tarbo to counter most of my team because nothing had just a straight go through to kill. And I think Giga... Giga should have that. Um, I really feel like it suffers from uh, swarms. And even then, or Flux, sorry. And even then, it's not really that great. You have to set up, you have to do the heal, and then you have to go for the big hit. And at that point, somebody could switch in and do something to you. Or, you know, switch in a flock. And then it, the flock can heal itself. <laughs> it's like a Giga, I think once everyone gets the beta hybrid up to max level, Giga's gone. Giga's gone. It, it's a shame because then people are going to have the Tarbo flock, they're going to have the beta flock, and at that point, Giga's useless because you're probably going to get, you're probably going to face up against one of those. So, you know what? Let's, let's just put our own dealer, Kairos. I've said that it's really OP. I might as well just put my money where my mouth is, eh? Uh, so, he's faster than me. Uh, really? He goes for a super distraction. That is very interesting. Normally what they do is they go for their regular hit and then next turn they go for this one. Um, so not exactly sure what's going on there. Maybe he just wanted to do some damage to me. Maybe. Maybe he did. Um, and then we can... I mean, he's going to do like 5,000 damage. I mean, he might get a crit. Let's be honest. My luck's been absolutely horrendous uh, recently. Um, but if that is the case... Eh, oh, okay. Fair dues. Fair dues goes for a null nullification. So at least I guess I do some damage. It's not the best. Um, and now he is quicker. Huh. You know what? I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this. And at this point, I'm going to switch into... Oh! Maybe he thought I was going to switch and predicted this perfectly? He might have even. Wow, well played if that was the case. So that means that he's going to do 7,200, which definitely would kill me. So I kind of need to just do this. Oh, he's played this perfectly because he's going to get counter off and then he's going to do a lot of damage to you. Well done. Um, I mean, what, 1,815, which unless he gets a crit is not... Ah, oh, that's annoying. But it puts me in range of, you know, something else killing me. Oh! Oh, I thought it was going to kill them! <laughs> look, how, look at this, right? Look at it. Two apex creatures and they can barely... Well, they haven't even killed them. Haven't even killed me yet. He's probably going to go for his, uh, his own heal, but in comparison to the amount of... Oh, okay. He just wants to do that. Cool. Cool. Yep. Fair enough. Fair enough. Now he needs Hydro Boa to lock me in. And it's taken three apexes to freaking kill this thing. It is ridiculous. It really is. It's beyond a joke. Hey, he's got his own. Uh, I am quicker. Um, he has revenge, which means he's probably going to kill me in one hit. Um, so at this point, eh, we need a switch. But what to? The crocodile, I guess? I mean, he could have predicted me switching out there and then had then killed me with some, but I think we've got his referentum at about half health. His Dialocaris now is in a bit of, bit of trouble. Not a massive amount, which is interesting, actually. He didn't go for his biggest hit there. I thought he would have. I so thought he would have, but I, apparently not. Well, we need to go for our heal here. Um, I do have my little trump card, which I guess isn't too great because I need to get him to about 2,600 health for my uh, paratops to kill him. Uh, oh, okay, okay. A little bit more damage, L just a little bit. Um, then we'll go for a swap with parakeet. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think I might have worked out how to kill him. I think I might. I think I might. I think I might. Let's see if he goes for a regular hit here. Which I think he might do. 
It's a, it's a toss-up between that or Paratops. Yeah, he goes for the regular hit. That's good. That's good. Ah, stop with the 10% crits already. Um, now, what do you think he's going to do here? Do you think he's going to go for the heal? Or... Ah, he might have went for the heal. That's interesting. Well, you know, I'd rather do some damage to him and die. <laughs> Did he go for the heal? He didn't go for the- I'm glad. I'm glad. Because if I went for the other hit, I wouldn't have done as much damage. So, 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 so. He is at a point where... Ooh, 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 ooh. It's annoying because I know he's going to go for his own heal here. Um, but if he does that, I don't think he can kill me with a counter, actually. <gasps> right? Okay, here we go. Big brain play. Yeah, he goes for his... Oh, he reduces my attack. Forgot about that. Damn. I was going to say, because then I'll do 5,000 damage and they just switch in the Paratops to kill him. That would have been brilliant. Um, but I don't. Ah. Right, now he's quicker. So we have to go for this one. We has to. If I could just get him down a little bit more. If my Paratops was maxed, that would be danger level for him. Oh! Sweet! We've killed it! Okay, we've killed it, we've killed it. Because now he's probably thinking he's faster. He might even have his uh, Healy. Well, he's got his regular heal. But at this point, I'm faster. There's nothing he could do. I may as well stay in, right? Because he went for his big heal, then his... Sod it, I'm not, I'm not risking it. I'm just having Paratops come in. I'm not risking it. It's not happening. <laughs> did he switch out? Hey, he did it! Sweet! Okay, that's a good setup for Paratops. Because now, depending on what happens, I can heal and get out, or I can do a big hit. Ooh, a Thordor. Okay. So it's... Wait, what's the damage on that thing? <gasps> that is lethal! But he went for his regular hit? Okay. Okay. So, so, what do we do? I mean, I'm pretty sure we've won this one. It has taken a long time to win this one, I might add. Um, but there's no way that he can... I mean, he's got a instant distraction, but there's nothing he can do. Oh, he, oh! I didn't factor in that. Well played there. Okay, okay. So, he's gonna, do, he's gonna go for his biggest hit here. Hmm... Hmm. Yeah, there's the big hit. Yeah, that... Oh, it just killed me. Barely, I might add. Okay. Right. So, do we just go for this big hit? And then... I mean, he'll cleanse himself. Go for 44,000 damage. He does have a fair amount of a chance to crit me. Uh, I think it's... it's you know, we've, we've both played relatively well here. I'll leave it up to the, the chance gods. I, of course, I don't get my 10% crit. Does he get his 30% crit? Oh my god, I survived! I didn't get the 10% on the counter. Oh, I, I was like, if he gets a crit, he wins. If I get the crit, I win. But actually, he got his crit and didn't win. Okay, so the game was about to be like, Nyeh! but then it didn't matter anyway. <sighs> okay, we'll do one more, but my god, it's so stressful. Okay, here we go. Third battle. We lost one, we won one. How we do this? Oh, okay. Paratops, Imperator Sutures, Dilokairus. Um, now, it's whether or not they pull out the Indotaurus. Hmm. You know what? Ref is actually a pretty safe bet. And Imperator Sutures, actually, that works out really well. <laughs> I mean, if it was Dilokairus, maybe it would have been not as good. But this way, at least... All he's doing is slowing me down and putting a little bit of bleed on me. Um, and that's it. And then next turn, he'll go for his... He'll go for his heal. And I can do even more damage with my biggest hit. I, the only thing is, my, I think my speed reduced for three turns. Yes. So it's not so bad. It's not so bad here. Uh, so he does a little bit of damage. Then he'll go for his heal because that's definitely predictable. So we may as well just go for the big hit. Yes, there it is. Like I said, I'm an MLG pro player. I mean, like I said, I, I face these same like 10 to 15 creatures over and over and over. I, I, it's hard not to know what counters what at this point. <laughs> 
Okay, and that'll carry on into the next uh, but next round, so he is only going to do 1,400 or 1,900 to me, and then it's dead. So, you know what? He goes for it. He goes for it. Um, yeah. About, uh, I'll, I'll take the trade. Half health ref for a 1-0 up on an Imperator suit. Oh, we cleanse damage over time as well. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> I always forget about the little secondary things. Uh, just after I said, it's, it's hard not to know what to do. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Um, I mean, we may as well just go for the priority in case he doesn't go for it. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. It's, it'll have a dangerous amount of speed. Yeah, 139. Ah. Ah, this is the only thing that I'm a bit, I always get a bit worried about, the Albert. I'm only safe if I've got Anklos. If I've got Anklos, I'm like, ah, okay, I'm fine. So I think if I, if I just get it down to this level, I mean, it's going to do a lot of... Okay, okay. What was the crit chance of it? 10%. <laughs> you know, I was watching a video about... Um, does he got priority back for that other move? Why does he have priority back for that other move? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, okay, fair enough. Is that going to kill him? Of course it doesn't. Sweet. Right. Oh, wait, of course he... And of course he does a counter. Of course it does. You know, with... I, I watched a video about Pokemon and how, like, certain things have been banned in competitive because they rely completely on luck. Uh, too much so, in a way. Um, so I may as well switch out because he'll just go over his priority and he'll just do a crud ton of damage to me. So now... Now <laughs> it's up to Paratops because I can't really switch in to Lucyrus at this point unless I get lucky. Because as soon as it switches in... Uh, well, it was fun. <laughs> hey, we, we, it was all right. I mean, he can go for his... He's probably going to go for his priority roll here. Yes. Oh, I kind of predicted him. Yes. Because then if I heal, he's just going to go for his biggest hit. But now he can't. Yes. We might actually... He has to switch or else he's dead. Oh, no. He's still quicker. I forgot about that. Well, how much damage does he do with his biggest hit? 3,160. Do we leave it up to RNG gods? They've screwed me over recently. And this is a 40... Oh, 0% chance. We've won. <sighs> what? Okay. Remember this game. That was... I'd like to say it was luck. But maybe it was skill. <laughs> wow. Paratops actually did it because if I went for the heal, I was dead next turn. But because I, I, you know, took the crit chance away from him, reduced his attack, and got rid of that boost. <sighs> well, we're not in New Blow Shores, but I'm sure next time, well, by the next time we do a video, we'll be in New Blow Shores. So, hopefully, that's uh, tidied you over for Jurassic World Live content. There's going to be some really cool content coming up on the channel soon. But if you enjoyed this video, look forward to that. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye